Any guy here coming to you live and direct with another video, and I just want to um, share my uh, insight on this uh, video game that just came out. I'm playing a um, demo right now, and it's fun. I like it. Um, I spoke on it in my previous video. It's called Forspoken, and I think that's uh, well. Actually, I have no thoughts on the title as of yet, other than you know Forspoken, just like you know forecast. Like forecast, something like to come before. Uh, uh, I guess they're trying to say speak before. Anyway, um, it's basically about this magic parkour game, and like I was saying in my previous video, they um, they know that we, well, I think they know that I know that uh, we're going to be going back to nature, and they showing us magic again in these videos and in these video games this is how it could be you know right now i got the game on pause and you know i'm running with the little girl the little um uh, main start of you know the video game and it's like just imagine you ain't have to deal with no bills you ain't have to deal with being restricted by some some cops or military bases you ain't have to deal with none of those people and you can just run freely using your powers this is what this game reminds me of, and this is what I think we should be getting back to. They got two er well, herbs, like you see the little herbs. What I mean by herbs, because, you know, the H and herb, it can be silent. Herbs, or it can be orb. It's basically a play on words, because when you consume herbs, you can heal yourself. In these video games, they've been programming us to... Like when you run over these herbs or orbs, these little energy balls, those are basically like um herbs or herbs, because when you eat them, you get when you run over them, you consume them and you get ener energized. You see what I'm saying? Just like you would with consuming nature, you would get energized, and that's why we not so energized because we eating all this dead food. It doesn't have any life in it. Um, at least that's my perception on it. So, yeah, um, she got a little lion right there. I'm guessing that represents her personality. Um, I didn't look up in, I, I didn't follow up with the, uh, the storyline of it yet. I just wanted to play the game. I'm muted for copyright reasons. Uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna just let, you know, show y'all the little visuals as it plays. See, she running through, she using her magic. She walk, skin past water you see what I'm saying they showing you floating cities and stuff well not cities but floating objects they had this in avatar um things that floated see think about it like once upon a time this planet was vibing so high that that there were elements that used to float and then they lowered us so much to all of that stuff just drop. <laughs> and now that we returning to it, at least I think we are, at least I hope we are returning to this world where we free again, free from their light cold lockdown in every way from how we think, from what we eat, and how we're being taught by our ancestors that come before us or our parents because like I said they got us at a young age they got us at a young age so now we just basically like kids next door and I, I need to look up the be the um the behind the story of kids next door because I wonder um I know why I never see their parents the kids next door pretty much remind me of kids that just have been abandoned abandoned and that's what we have been abandoned um so yeah, kids have been abandoned. Not just so called black people, but all races of people. And America is the cream of the cream of the crop with doing that, in my opinion. Um in America it's a lot of programming going on. I don't know if it's in any other countries, but America is like the worst in my eyes. You know, I guess because I'm here and I'm seeing it here. So yeah. 
Um, you see new magical powers and abilities. This, these are powers that we had when we were young, but they got they got stripped from us, and they put it into video games so we can believe in these video games when we got them ourselves in real life. You know, and 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 then they got different creatures. See, she was stop. She was fighting them off with with her magic. Because if you ain't got no guns, what you gonna use? You gonna use your magic. And you see how freely she flowing? She using her magic. And then you saw, and, and you see she more free in nature. She ain't in the city doing this. She in nature. So this what this, this is the um this is what I'm getting from this video game. And she has different spells that she can use. I might actually buy this game. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I might actually buy this game. Then again, I might not, <laughs> cause I already know what this about, and it's pretty much it, um off the rip. If anybody, if, if there's anybody out there that play video games, if you don't don't play this game called Infamous, Infamous Second Son or Infamous, that game is just like this. Infamous is about a white dude who basically was abandoned, if I'm not mistaken. He's also about a, uh, that that video game also is, is about a, like, troubled child or something like that. He was abandoned, and, you know, he discovered some powers or something like that. Or he was dealing with the government, and the government shot something at him or something, and he ended up getting powers. See, she could float. You see what I'm saying? So she's using her powers to move, to traverse her through nature. Just imagine how free you would be. And you ain't got to worry about fighting off the creatures and stuff like that. Because if you at peace, what you fighting the creatures for? Now... Nah, the thing that I was talking about in my previous video about how they always programming us to be uh, battling battling all the time. They always want to make us fight. Even in this game, they make you fight. Fight off um, different entities with, with her powers. So this is what I'm going to be doing with this video game. I'm just going to be running around shooting different spells at people, at the little um, enemies and stuff. But I just wanted to share that my my insight on this uh video game, this voodoo game. Y'all see them floating rocks. They like to put all see, they like to put all their little subliminals in the in the video games and we don't even see it. But they've been showing us the whole time. See, she using her hands. And another thing I wanna add, like so-called homeless people. Homeless people would be the first to discover their powers before anybody who's living in the city. Because homeless people are all, most homeless people who are aware of what's going on that done separated themselves from society and stuff like that. They are, it's going to be easy for their they powers to, to come online. Because they, they don't have nothing holding them back. Most of them. Most of them, I feel like their powers are already activated, but of course, no, none of that stuff is being televised, or they may they may be keeping it secret. That's why in these uh, superhero videos, I mean superhero movies, and um, it's a thing for these superheroes not to reveal their identity. You see what I'm saying? They don't want that, and that to me that means that's I think that's the work of the government. The government don't want us to reveal our um, powers to the people because they'll real because if we realize who has the, these powers we won't depend on the government no more so you know i'm just thinking of this just now like if we knew who who was who and what powers they had we wouldn't depend on the government to protect us like example like superman if we know superman is clark kent we won't have to depend on the government to bring in the military to fight off a threat so that's why they give up. They gave us the concept. I, at least I feel that way. They gave us the concept of hide your identity. Don't let nobody know who you are. But once we know who we are, what powers we have in, inside of us that we have to unlock ourselves, it's gonna be game over for the system. 
See, the only thing that they can do, they can put this stuff in these screens. That's the only thing they can do. Using this as a magic board. This straight magic board with spells. Words all over the... You see what I'm saying? Just a spell board. And they put it all on here for us to watch. When we got it right here. The power is right here. But we don't want to use our powers right here. We want to hold a controller. Hold a joystick. Or hold a... a, a, a um. A puppeteer stick. You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, and they got us so good. Like, think about it. Instead of us using our hands for magic, we use our hands to do this. We use our hands to do this all day. We like this all day. Looking down at it. Think about it. How you gonna use your powers when you like this all day? I got to give it up to the beast. They got us good. You see what I'm saying? They got us good. You can't even... You can, I can't even use my hand because... And if I was to shoot something out of my hand, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't... I'd be shocked by it. And I'd be surprised. Like, dang, I didn't know I could do that because I was so used to just doing this. That's all I know. The power is all in here. Notes. Bills. Bank accounts, contacts, social media platforms. That's where all the power is when it's supposed to be here. That's why they make this stuff handheld. Damn. I just blew my own mind just now in one video and didn't even intend to. That's why they always want to occupy our hands. Also, shoot with a gun, too. Instead of us using our powers like here, we rather hold it like this with a gun. We rather, we rather hold our hands like this with a gun. Police. Damn. That's all we know to put our hands on. Phone and a gun. And then even when you got the gun, you still end up getting killed. You know how many gun owners that done died? <laughs> you think you safe with a gun? No way. You got police officers that done lost their lives with a gun. And they were on the system side. You got, mili you got military people who be around guns all day. Lost their lives. Trying to fight for a system that was never built for them in the first place. But it was unfortunate that they didn't even know it. It's crazy. That's why I want to get the message out so people can wake so people can wake up and realize that. So, yeah, I'm about to get ready to play um for spoken. Finish playing the demo and enjoy it. And they got oh, look at this symbolism. I don't know what these mean, but I guess I mean, I know you can make a pyramid, probably make a pyramid out of these shapes. But I wonder why they chose these four buttons to use. You know. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Four Spoken. Y'all go check it out on YouTube. Go watch the gameplay if you play games. It ain't nothing wrong with playing games no matter the age. If I'm old enough to hold a controller, I'm going to continue to hold a controller. As long as the grid is up, I'm going to be playing these games as long as I'm able to. <clears throat> um do that financially or whatever you know because you got to pay for internet you got to pay for the playstation plus and all of that so yeah i i play these video games i play them to analyze what they're you know put in front of our face but i know it's also important for us individually to be working on our powers in real life because if we keep giving these screens power that's all we're doing we have to start Practicing in real life how to use our powers. And that's the real value. That's the real value, not the money. Not $50 in my pocket. It's going to be what I can do aside from that $50. You got to think, man. Before $50 even existed, what were people doing to show value or show their worth? If... 
ancient beings were to come back to this planet, they wouldn't know what is a $50 bill. They wouldn't even care. They'd just look at you crazy like, what is that? <laughs> That's why I said we got to let this stuff go. Get out of this, this, this money mentality. Get that money. Get that money. That's It don't mean nothing. Especially if you ain't doing nothing constructive with it. Instead of, you know, some of y'all getting that money and using it to help other people self-destruct. Not to mention yourselves. Get that money. Get that money. Start a a, a, a beer, a, a, a liquor store, or um, investing in liquor and all of that. How are you elevating by investing in something like that? Something that's going to help destroy life or not benefit it in any type of way? How can liquor enhance somebody? How can liquor enhance life? How can these things that you're investing in enhance life? You see what I'm saying? Females out here getting their money, focusing on doing hair and stuff like that. These females, I give it to them. They're making good money doing these hairstyles and stuff like that. But how is that benefiting women? Especially so-called black women. How is that benefiting women? You making all that money, but when the money goes, see... On the plus side, if the system goes what you were doing, you were practicing your skills, your craft, you can do, you can braid hair. But when the grid go down, ain't no more fake hair or none of that. You can, you just going to be um, left with your skills that you can do. And that's when the value comes into play. You know, um, I can braid hair. Um, let's say you can braid hair. And I, uh, you might need me to uh, build you a, a, a tent or something like that. But since money won't exist, I'm going to be like, well, if you braid my hair, then I can uh, build you a tent. You know, stuff like that. But um, I guess a lot of people don't see life being like that i guess a lot of people see life being like that is also bad and depressing i don't know why but i'd rather deal with life that way than how it is now with people so bent on you know um pretty much placing people in certain social classes or financial classes just because they don't have a certain amount of money. I don't care how much money I got. Doesn't matter. I'm the one who makes um the value. So yeah. Quit listen. So I'll be Making another video soon if whenever I come up with another idea or thought that runs across my head, I will share it. I'm about to um relax, take my meds, stuff like that, and pretty much watch you know watch my daily people that I watch. Remedy H, Gina Maria, see what she got going on. See what Kala, see if he don't drop some videos. For you know, for me to watch and you know, learn, be aware. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Either God signing out. Peace.